Hey babes, welcome back. You guys, I'm so excited. I am starting a series on my channel. This is the first time I've ever done it. So I hope you guys like it. I hope you'll follow along with it. I love style and fashion, clothing, accessories, like just being girly and having fun with your outfits. So I am starting a style series and I'm gonna do this every single season. So starting out with fall style, this is gonna be centered around how to look expensive on a budget. Like how to put outfits together and look really put together and nice while on a budget. And I'm gonna do this in categories. So first I'm starting off in this video with doing casual style and then episode two in this fall style how to look expensive on a budget episode two will be dressy style and so on and so forth so hope you guys really like this all right so let's go ahead and jump right into episode number one if you are subscribed already please do and join our youtube family we would absolutely love to have you we are still celebrating hitting 20,000 subscribers and i still have open giveaways on my channel right now so check them out i'll leave them down in the description box as well as all of my socials and don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification button so that you never miss a video when it shows up in your feed I love you guys so, so much. I'm so excited for this. Please follow along and let's get started. Okay, so I love sweaters. They are a huge staple and must have and a go-to for the fall and the winter. Just a quick tip, make sure you are sticking with neutral colors. Stay away from obnoxious prints and bright, vibrant, loud colors for the fall and the winter time. Neutral colors and muted down colors are gonna match with more. They're gonna look more put together and they're gonna look more expensive or pricey than what they actually are. And this piece right here is a great example. This is like a blush, like mauve color. It's absolutely one of my favorite colors all year round, but especially for the fall. It's a good thick material, which is another thing to look for. This neckline is also really pretty and I definitely feel like some necklines can like make it or break it with pieces when it comes to making it look cheap versus expensive or more expensive than what it is. So definitely a good neckline and good stitching. And then, <laughs> details, it's all about details. And this sweater is amazing with its detail. These bell tiered sleeves are amazing. They are beautiful. And they're just like so fun. Any kind of detail like this is instantly going to take it up a couple of notches for the piece, make it look more expensive and fun, make it interesting. And it's just so chic and so girly, so fun. And you guys, like, comment down below and take a guess at how much you think this sweater was. Tell me. Comment below, tell me what you think the price is because I can guarantee it's a lot less than what you think and I'll tell you in just a minute. Also, I wanna mention that I do have this sweater tucked in. I feel like when you tuck in a shirt or a sweater, it makes it look a little more form-fitting. It accentuates your waist and your body type. It's just more cute and put together. I will show you what the top looks like undone so you can get an idea. So it looks like this. Same length in the front as in the back. So to tuck in my shirts or sweaters, I just take the very front extra material and I will tuck it just slightly into the very front where my button is. And then this extra material on the side, I will actually roll it under. And voila, I just feel like that looks so much better tucked in, accentuates your waist, and it just looks so much cuter. Okay, these are the jeans that I actually bought to pair with this outfit but sadly they are way too big for me. I picked up the wrong size, but nonetheless, these are the perfect pair of jeans to show that are super affordable, but look way more expensive than what they are. And I will tell you why. So dark wash jeans always look more expensive than light wash jeans, although light wash jeans make your booty really, really pop. So do dark wash, but light jeans make your booty pop more than ever. Also, any kind of like destroyed denim detail is also gonna make the jean look more interesting. And then the ultimate tip here is any kind of like embellishment or pearl detailing, like what's in these jeans here. So there's little pearls and little like gunmetal bead pearls all throughout the entire jean. And it goes all the way down into the shin. And these are a perfect example of a jean that is very affordable but looks so expensive. These jeans are just under $30 at $28 and some change to be exact. But you would never know it. If I found these in a store, I would easily think they were around 60 or 70, 80 plus dollars. But no, these are so affordable and so, so cute. I will have them linked down below if anyone is interested, as well as everything else that I show. So if you guess that the sweater is 15 bucks, then you're correct, $15 for this sweater. Such a steal, I cannot believe it. 
but it's true, $15. I'll have it linked down below if anyone is interested. And like I said, those jeans didn't fit, so I went with a very similar pair that are dark wash with destroyed denim. No extra detailing to them, but they were the most similar pair that I could find to those. <laughs> so now I'm gonna show you guys a few different pair of shoes and what they would look like with this outfit. I do just have a brown and black shoulder bag because this is definitely like my go-to bag. I feel like it matches most outfits and it goes with them. So this is how I would wear this outfit along with rose gold jewelry. I do have one of my favorite bracelets of all time right now, rose gold. Little squares with little diamond gemstones in them. So, so cute. And then as well as a rose gold stud. Let me zoom in. These are my little go-to rose gold studs. They're my absolute favorite and they match with everything. I love them. And I almost forgot about my necklace. This is like a five in one tiered gold and rose gold chain necklace. I love any kind of dainty jewelry and anything rose gold, clearly. I definitely feel like jewelry and accessories can make or break an outfit and you can really just take a, such a casual outfit and turn it way, way up with any kind of jewelry pieces. If you guys would like to see like an entire dedicated video on jewelry and like how I accessorize outfits in this series, then let me know, leave me a comment. Okay, so for shoes, I am so obsessed with these, I had to show you guys. So my few tips for shoes are, again, sticking with neutral colors or muted down colors, sticking with nice fabrics, and then also looking for really fun, cute, interesting details like these pair have. These are a mauve, kind of like a velvet type black heel. And for me personally, I feel like black heels look the most classiest and they're just so much easier to walk in. They're so, so comfortable. And these particular shoes wrap around your ankle and they tie in the back and there's a little bow. Like, how cute is that? It is a really nice, soft material. I love just feeling these. And you do have a cute little cutout right here and another little cutout right here. I feel like these shoes look like they're designer and you would never know that they're only 50 bucks. <laughs> the second pair of shoes that I would wear or pair with these would be a cute pair of loafers. I love loafers. Like, I don't care what anyone says about them. They make your outfit look so stylish and put together and just like you look so chic and your outfit just looks so expensive like do these not look like they're from Italy for like $500 well I'm like kicking my mirror <laughs> so these were in fact not $50 they're actually around like $20 again a really pretty neutral color they're like a fox velvet they have this really pretty shiny silver hardware on them so easy just to slip on and off. I love the material. Loafers are like my favorite shoe of all time for the fall and the winter. I think they are just so darling, it's so cute, and they just look so classy, so chic, and make any outfit look so put together and expensive. And I will have both shoes linked down below if anyone is interested. Okay, so I wanted to show you another option for a sweater if that other one was just too much detail with the bell sleeves. Like, I get it. This one is much more casual. Again, with the same kind of color palette, with the same mauve and cream color. This pattern is more of like a stubble pattern. It's not too loud or in your face. So patterns like this work because it's larger stripes. And even smaller stripes are honestly like fine. It has the same kind of neckline, which I like. It's kind of like that boat neck neckline. The sweater is a little bit more of a thinner material, but it is more oversized. So I did a side tuck, but if you untuck it, it's really like cozy. I love like having my sweaters a little big. You can just like cozy up with them. I love that. This sweater is a little bit more longer in the back than it is in the front, so you can cover the bootay. And I just did like a little side tuck, but either way, I think it looks so cute. This is just another like more casual sweater option than the other one that I showed you. And it's only $13. $13 for this sweater. You, like you would never even know. I'm telling you guys, affordable shopping and still looking good is so doable. I do it every day. <laughs> and leave me a comment down below and let me know what sweater out of the two that I showed that you like the most. Okay, so next outfit, again, with sticking with neutral colors, olive is definitely a staple color for the fall. I love this top. There's so much going on with it, but first, let me say, another tip is sticking with cool certain fabrics. So, for example, like this top it is a almost like a silk chiffon type material. So any kind of silk, chiffon, any kind of like fine, luxurious looking material, it's gonna take any outfit and take it up like 10 notches. So with that being said, make sure you're just having that one fancier piece 
be like your staple piece and don't add any other like extra fancy pieces with it. Just let that top or whatever fancy material you have be the only statement piece that you have. So there's so much going on in this shirt. Let me show you. Love the ruffle detailing. It has little ruffles that go on your shoulders with a cute little sexy shoulder cutout. The same ruffles go across the top of the shirt and it ties right here in the middle, which is so cute. And then the same ruffle material comes down along to the arms and then does have cuffed wrist. I did pair it with the same jeans that I had on earlier and I did pair it with a pair of black loafers. These ones are black and silver with black and silver hardware detailing. It's so cute. And this is again like a nice soft material but it's like pretty basic. It doesn't really stand out as much as my like champagne colored loafers do. So I feel like these complement really well with a top like this one. And if anyone is interested in these loafers, they're about $20 and I will try to find them. They're from last season, but I will try to find similar ones if I can't find these exact ones. And then same earrings, I have the same rose gold studs in. I have my same square rose gold bracelet. And then I did wear just a simple gold chain necklace because there's already so much going on with the top and so much attention being drawn to the chest already. I wanted to keep it really, really simple with just a simple gold chain. It's from Forever 21 for only like two or three dollars. Okay, so outfit number three, I love burgundy. So burgundy is a huge fall staple color. I love olive, burgundy, and cream. It's like all you'll find me in in fall. So I love dusters, but rule of thumb with dusters or any kind of like loose fitting jackets, make sure whatever you're wearing underneath is tight fitting. So you wanna have a balance of like loose clothing and tight clothing, not all tight clothing and then not all loose clothing. Have a good balance. So I have a tight cami underneath along with the tight same jeans and then a loose duster. So it kind of have that balance. So first starting with this cami, again, it is super cute. I love the neckline. It's nice and high, nice and like classy looking. I really like the ribbed material on this. If you can see, so cute. And then um, I've worn this in the spring and the summer as well. And it's really cute because you can kind of see the collarbone, which is just like a fun little sexy pop without being like too sexy. And it is kind of cropped and it is definitely form fitting. Definitely a really cute, complimenting color with these jeans. And then this duster, oh, I love dusters. This one was, I think about 30 to $40, super affordable. I love the color, it's kind of like a rusty mauve color. Super nice material, kind of has like a textured shine to it. It's nice and long, it has pockets. <laughs> I love anything with pockets. It's at a really good length, it does have these two slits on both sides, which is really nice. And I did pair this outfit with my burgundy plum Yodewood watch. I've talked about Yodewood watches before on my channel, I absolutely love them and I stand by them. They're amazing quality, they have amazing customer service and just great overall product at such a good price point. This is the Purple Heart and Plum and I love the rose gold detailing on this watch. It's so cute. I love anything rose gold. I have a few watches from Yod, and anytime I wear them out, I always, always, always get compliments on them. They are a one of a kind piece, very unique. They're very luxurious looking, very designer looking at such an affordable price point. They have a huge selection of men and women's watches and I will leave their info down below if you guys are curious. And then I also paired it with the same rose gold square bracelet. The rose gold in the bracelet really complements the rose gold in the watch, so it was a perfect pair. And of course I have on my same rose gold studs. I think they're just so simple and cute, elegant, and just classy. Okay, I forgot to put a necklace on until just right now, but I put on this simple rose gold chain and it has these little discs. And the discs actually attract the light and they shine. It's so pretty. So it's so simple. I think it was from Forever 21 and I wear it all the time. It was only for a few dollars. I paired this outfit with the same color jeans. I feel like the burgundy really complements the denim dark wash colored jeans really, really well. And then for shoes, I paired this outfit with my favorite pair of neutral black high heels. These are from Target for about 30, I think yeah, I think like $30, super affordable and they match with everything. I literally wear these shoes with almost every single outfit because they are just so simple, but so classy and elegant looking and they're so, so comfortable because of the black heel. I love the strap and I love the material. The material is kind of like that soft, like velvety material as the other shoes. I think that material just looks so, so great. It just complements so well. But this does have a nice little ink strap here with a nice comfortable black heel and just like a simple strap down here by your toes. But I feel like these are like the perfect shoe to like go with any outfit. They're just so simple, 
but they look so, so good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you'll follow along with my style series. Episode 2 will be coming very soon and it'll be dressy style. Let me know what you guys want to see for episode number 3. Like what kind of style you would want to see because I need ideas. So leave me a comment and let me know. Thumbs up this video if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and join our YouTube fam. We would love to have you. And also don't forget to hit the post notifications button so my videos show up on your feed. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for everything. And I will see you guys in a few days in my next video. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,